Have you ever found yourself immersed in the gritty streets of San Francisco, courtesy of the 1972 television series that brought crime-solving duo Carl Malden and Michael Douglas to the small screen? Perhaps it was a late-night rerun or a recent discovery on a streaming platform that introduced you to this iconic show. The streets of San Francisco, with its distinctive opening theme and compelling detective narratives, became a staple for many viewers. As you reflect on your experience with the series, you might find yourself revisiting a particular scene or moment that left a lasting impact. Maybe it was the dynamic chemistry between Malden's veteran detective and Douglas Young, an ambitious partner that resonated with you. Or perhaps it was the rugged backdrop of San Francisco itself, a city that played a character in its own right throughout the show. Before we delve into the random facts about this classic series, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the streets of San Francisco? Did a specific episode stay with you over the years, shaping your perspective on crime dramas? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about the show that may surprise even the most dedicated fans. Did you know that the iconic Tower of Terror scene in the pilot episode was shot without a permit? The production team had to work quickly to capture the suspenseful moment before facing repercussions. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes add an extra layer of fascination to the series that kept audiences hooked for five compelling seasons. What about the famous car chase scenes? Those weren't just cinematic tricks Michael Douglas, in fact, did his own driving stunts, showcasing his commitment to the role. The streets of San Francisco wasn't just a crime procedural. It was a testament to the dedication of its cast and crew. So, as you revisit the streets that once echoed with the footsteps of Detective Stone and Keller, take a moment to share your own reflections on this timeless TV series. What made it special for you, and how has it left an indelible mark on your TV watching journey? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Carl Malden, age 60 at the series' onset and 65 at its conclusion, defied typical police retirement age. Lasting five seasons, he was the sole actor present in every episode. The show's realism deviated, notably in the use of a magnetic red light on their unmarked Ford, unlike authentic SFPD vehicles. Such departures marked the streets of San Francisco, where Malden's consistent presence stood out against the backdrop of unconventional police practices. When Michael Douglas departed from the streets of San Francisco in 1976, he anticipated a dramatic exit. In an interview with Photoplay magazine, he revealed his expectation of a five-page death scene in the gutter. However, the reality was different his character left to pursue teaching. This unexpected twist reflected the show's ability to defy conventional expectations. The streets of San Francisco, initially struggling in its debut against popular Saturday night comedies, underwent a pivotal shift in 1973 when it moved to Thursday nights. This strategic move resulted in a surge in viewership, propelling the series to rank 22nd and 26th in its subsequent seasons. The camaraderie between lead actors Carl Malden and Michael Douglas extended beyond the screen, as evidenced by their lasting professional and personal relationship. Two decades later, at the 1996 People's Choice Awards, Malden referred to Douglas as the son I never had, emphasizing the strong bond forged during their time on the show. Douglas reciprocated by calling Malden my mentor, highlighting the positive collaboration that defined the streets of San Francisco. This enduring connection between the two actors adds a poignant layer to the legacy of the series, showcasing the impact it had both on and off screen. In West Germany, Steve was dubbed Heller due to the existence of another character named Commissar Keller on their television. This international adaptation highlighted the widespread popularity of the streets of San Francisco. The series, known for its realistic portrayal of police work, featured authentic-looking studio prop cars mimicking SFPD vehicles. Notably, early episodes showcased a minor deviation in the emergency lights, emphasizing the meticulous attention to detail in the production. Beyond the on-screen authenticity, Carl Malden's real last name, Sekulovich, echoed in the character of the elderly sergeant, adding a personal touch to the show. This subtle connection between Malden's real identity and his on-screen role reveals a nuanced layer to the series' character development. The meticulous choice of names and details in production, such as the accurate depiction of police vehicles, contributed to the overall immersive experience for viewers. The streets of San Francisco, initially facing challenges, underwent a strategic shift in 1973, propelling it to higher viewership ranks. 
This success was not only attributed to the dynamic lead actors, but also to the meticulous attention to detail that enhanced the show's realism. The enduring camaraderie between Carl Malden and Michael Douglas, showcased in their professional and personal relationship, further solidifies the legacy of the streets of San Francisco. The impact of the series transcended the screen, leaving an indelible mark on television history. To secure Carl Malden for the streets of San Francisco, Quinn Martin enlisted Michael Douglas for the role of Inspector Steve Keller. This strategic move, facilitated through Douglas' father, Kirk, set the stage for the dynamic partnership that defined the series. The on-screen chemistry between Malden and Douglas was not only a professional triumph, but also laid the foundation for a lasting off-screen bond. Twenty years prior, a film bearing the same name, Streets of San Francisco, depicted the challenges faced by a veteran police detective as he sought to guide an at-risk youth. This thematic precursor added depth to the series, exploring the complexities of law enforcement and mentorship against the backdrop of the iconic city. In interviews, Michael Douglas consistently expressed that Carl Malden served as a surrogate father outside the set, emphasizing the genuine connection between the two despite Malden not having any sons. This off-screen camaraderie mirrored the on-screen partnership, contributing to the authenticity that resonated with viewers. The strategic casting decision, the thematic resonance with the previous film, and the genuine off-screen relationship between Malden and Douglas collectively shaped the unique identity of the streets of San Francisco, propelling it beyond the challenges it initially faced. This series not only captured the essence of police work, but also showcased the power of enduring partnerships both in front of and behind the camera. As we bid farewell to the vibrant tapestry of the streets of San Francisco, let your mind wander down those iconic alleys and bustling avenues. This timeless TV series, a symphony of crime and camaraderie, has etched its indelible mark on the annals of television history. As the credits roll and the echoes of Carl Malden's wisdom linger, we invite you to delve into the recesses of your own journey through the city's labyrinth. Did you find yourself navigating the moral crossroads alongside Stone and Keller? Or perhaps the pulsating energy of the cityscape became the backdrop to your introspective moments. Whatever your connection, we want to hear it. Share the nooks and crannies of your memories, the characters that left an imprint on your soul, or the episodes that became chapters in your own narrative. The Streets of San Francisco isn't just a show. It's a mirror reflecting the myriad reflections of its viewers. So drop your thoughts like breadcrumbs on the cyber streets below. Let's weave a tapestry of shared stories that transcend time and space, just like the iconic duo that patrolled those streets. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us. Your tales make this journey richer, and your presence a testament to the enduring allure of great storytelling. Until we meet again in the enigmatic alleyways of nostalgia, this has been a narrative spun by the collective hearts that beat in harmony with the streets of San Francisco.